So when I hopped on my computer today and logged on social media, I saw that Grand Theft Auto 6 was trending. And this isn't something that's out of the ordinary. In fact, really, over the last couple of years and months, GTA 6 has been trending a lot. But ever since the official announcement, it only really pops up on the trending page if something interesting has come about. And I was wondering, well, what's interesting about today? And then I looked at the date. It is Monday, April 15th. And if you guys have been following Rockstar Games and GTA 6 news over the last couple of months, then you'll know exactly what's happening on this date and why Grand Theft Auto 6 is trending. Well, that's because a few weeks ago on February 28th, 2024, it was revealed in an article on Bloomberg published by Jason Schreer that Rockstar Games is making all of its employees return to the office five days a week. To give you a quick refresher, this is what the article had to say. Rockstar Games will ask employees to return to the office five days a week beginning in April as the video game maker enters the final stages of development on its next game, the hotly anticipated Grand Theft Auto 6. In an email to staff on Wednesday reviewed by Bloomberg, Rockstar Games head of publishing Jennifer Colby said the decision was made for productivity and security reasons. Colby wrote that the company also found tangible benefits from in-person work, Making these changes now puts us in the best position to deliver the next Grand Theft Auto at the level of quality and polish we know it requires, along with publishing a roadmap that matches the scale and ambition of the game. And that day that Rockstar Games employees are returning to the office is today, April 15th. And basically what this signifies is that Grand Theft Auto 6 is entering the final stretch of development. And so as Grand Theft Auto fans, we can honestly see this as good news. But to the developers, I'm hoping that everything goes smoothly and that the crunch culture doesn't return. At the end of the day, I'm hoping this can be a win-win situation for all parties. It can be agreeable for the Rockstar Games employees and for us fans we'll finally get to see some more progress on a game we've been waiting over a decade to get our hands on. And it is just interesting the timing of this. It's been about four to five months since the very first Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer has come out and we know that Rockstar Games parent company Take-Two Interactive is set to have their earnings call in May 2024, and that's traditionally when we get news of Rockstar Games, these big updates that they provide so that they can be discussed on said earnings calls. And the timing is also interesting because this does seem to be right around when we should be getting more marketing news, and I would say any information that Rockstar gives us is pretty much marketing details, so things like trailers, info, screenshots, etc. All of that should set to be ramping up if, again, the game is going to be coming out in 2025. Remember, there was that Kotaku article that came out a couple of weeks ago that basically said, you know, the game could slip into 2026. That caused a ton of confusion in the video game and stock market world. So make of that what you will. But there's just a lot of rumors swirling around GTA 6 right now in Rockstar Games. But one thing we do know for sure is that the developers are returning to the office five days a week. And again, this is a subject that's a little bit difficult for me to comment on, really because I have no in-office working experience. Ever since I graduated from university, I've been doing YouTube videos like this. So I've been working from home in my own studio and I've never had to go into an office place to get my work done. So I can't really comment on the tangible benefits or even non-tangible benefits of working remote versus working from home. So I wanna hear from you guys in those comments down below. Do you think this is good for the Rockstar Games employees? Do you think it's bad for the Rockstar Games employees? And what has been your experience in both? Whether it might've been schooling that you've done from home or in person or work that you might've done from in home or in person, let me know what you think in those comments down below. And on the subject of Rockstar Games employees coming back to the office, a former senior environmental artist at Rockstar Games actually talked about his experience at the studio and its culture during GTA 5's development, which is rare. You rarely get interviews from Rockstar Games employees. And that employee is Jonathan Gwynn, who worked at Rockstar Games from 2011 to 2012 on Grand Theft Auto 5's deserts, roads, train tracks, mountains, and more. And he was actually just interviewed by Reese Riley of the YouTube channel Kiwi Talks, which focuses on speaking with game developers. And the interview is about an hour long, and it talked about things like what it was like meeting Sam Hauser, behind the scenes at Rockstar Games, and more. And there's a particular section that people have drawn a lot of interest in, what it was like to work 
within Rockstar Games at the time when GTA 5 was in the middle of production, and John shares he left Rockstar due to people and the culture around him every day. We just started forming the landscape, and, and uh, after about a year, I there's a lot of people, I don't know, you've probably heard stories about Rockstar, but... Oh, yeah. um, I've heard stories about everything. I, yeah, I don't <laughs> want to diss them, but there, there's people there that um, have a very like aggressive managing style, and uh, they make so much money that there's really no incentive for them to change the way they do things. So, uh, at that point, I was kind of like, it's not so much the company that was bumming me out; it was the attitude of the people in the company. Everybody at, at was, the higher level, at the higher level. No, no, no. People around me. Oh, really? They were okay. complaining so much, and they were like so sour on things. And it, after a, a time, you know, you can't spend eight to ten hours a day, five days a week, with people that just don't like what they're doing. Yeah, fair. Or enough. are complaining about things. Well, it's very toxic. Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of people are were leftovers from when there was the huge controversy about overtime and the rockstar wives and all that stuff so i ended up getting that job i was talking about at qualcomm and i went over there and uh they weren't you know they weren't <laughs> they weren't happy when i left but you know you got to do what you got to do and that's one of the, the yeah that's one of the few times i voluntarily left and a lot of people would say like you're crazy why would you leave rockstar you know it's great blah 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 yeah you know i i didn't I, I just felt like I, I needed to get away from some of the uh, some of that atmosphere. You know? I don't think you're an anomaly in that case. I mm -hmm. think a lot of people leave AAA studios because of the stress. The crunch is mm -hmm. usually far more severe than, say, with an indie company. And I imagine yeah. Rockstar's crunch would be ridiculous, right? I mean, the the pressure they're under... I mean, even back then with GTA 5, it's probably even worse now with GTA 6. So if you guys would like to check out the entire interview for yourself, I just played a few snippets there. I will leave a link to that interview in the description. I highly recommend checking it out. It's really cool to kind of get a behind the scenes look at what's going on at Rockstar Games, a company that is so secretive and has so little to publicly share. So again, let me know what you think about that and everything else we discussed in this video today. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You wanna stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.